Have you ever wondered why buying your first home today seems to be as difficult as trying to order a coffee at Starbucks without any customizations? Seriously, it's tough. Today, we're diving deep into some groundbreaking news that's just come out of Toronto. And trust me, you'll want to stick around for this because it could change the game for anyone looking to buy their first home or struggling to keep up with their current mortgage. So grab your coffee, hopefully one that's less complicated than a Starbucks order, and let's break this down. On April 11th, Deputy PM and Finance Minister Krista Freeland stood in front of a hopeful crowd and dropped some pretty big news on the housing affordability. I'm telling you, it's like the government finally started reading the comments section of every young person's dream to own a home. We introduced a slew of measures aimed at making it not just a dream, but a reality, I think. First off, let's talk numbers because you know I love the details. For anyone looking to jump into the market for the first time, there's been a huge update to the RRSP Home Buyers Plan. Previously, first time home buyers could pull $35,000 from RRSP tax free to slap down on the home. Now, get this they've cranked that number up to $60,000, plus, you can stack that with the new tax free first home savings account, which is like a huge firepower of savings in your arsenal. But wait, there's more because timing is everything, right? If you've already dipped into your RSP for a home purchase, the government is now giving you five years as a grace period before you need to start paying that back. That's up from just two years. This means you can catch your breath financially before needing to repay those funds, which honestly is a huge relief. Now, for those of you looking to buy newly built homes, there's another perk. Freeland announced that first-time home buyers with insured mortgages can now stretch their mortgage repayments over 30 years. Now, longer mortgage terms can mean more interest over time, but it also means more manageable monthly payments, which can make all the difference when you're just starting out. The story doesn't end with just making it easier to buy a home. That's the government also tweaking the Canadian Mortgage Charter. Now banks have to notify homeowners about their mortgage renewal options up to 24 months in advance. That is a lot of lead time to get your finances in order and explore the best rates, which can save you money. I personally think that this creates a huge opportunity for mortgage brokers in our community that offer any level of service. Plus, for anyone hitting a rough patch, the government is making sure that banks offer options to extend amortization periods permanently without any additional fees. It's like having a financial safety net with you when you really need it. Let's not forget about the backdrop of all these changes. A recent report from the Parliamentary Budget Officer highlighting a stark need for more housing. They're saying Canada needs to ramp up and build 1.3 million new homes by 2030 to keep up with demand. That is a lot of homes and it's clear that the government is pushing hard to make sure that they can find all of us a place to call home. So whether you're a home builder, a first time home buyer, or just someone trying to keep up with your mortgage, these changes are something to watch. And as always, these measures might sound fantastic on paper. It's crucial to look at your own financial situation to make decisions that are best for you. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time.